shooting day. It's always a good day, isn't it? Well, new rifle, even better. Purchased myself this uh, 223 Howler. Now, I already have a 223, but it's in an A1 Tactical. It's way too heavy to carry around if you ever wanted to go hunting or anything like that. So I decided that um, I'd purchase this rifle as something lighter. So I'm about to sight it in. I've got some um, factory rounds I'm going to put through it and some hand loads which I'd made for my other uh, Tika and ranging from 55 grains right through to 77. So we'll have a look and see how it performs. Quite a simple gun, this one. Uh, just running an Acura on it. You don't need much more for uh, two and 300 metres, uh, especially when you're hunting. You're always um, probably at uh, between five and, and seven or eight power. Uh, bolt action, obviously. And this one here is a top loader. I've got no intention of putting a magazine on it. I'm going to try and keep it as light as possible. And when I'm hunting, that's all I need to have in it anyway. So let's sight it in and see what it shoots like. Well, that's an impressive uh, five shots out of the uh, Tika, five or six shots to start with. I, uh, these are the two, first two that I fired and... Um, then I took it up an inch and I realised how much more it needed to travel. So I put it up another two and a half or so inches and got my first shot in. And then I thought, yep, that's close enough. So I fired another two and have a look at that for a group. For That's only the 55 grain and it's actually not even, uh, I haven't even sorted it out for this rifle. So um, more than good enough for hunting, but uh, let's try some more. I must admit I'm uh, pretty impressed with this Howler. I didn't expect this kind of performance, but um, I guess how can you go wrong with a uh, with a varmint barrel? Now on the right, I've got these. I'll put them over there. Uh, Remington 62 grainers. Not a bad little group. We had one a little bit off there, so there's three, three, three or four shots there under an inch, and then we've got the one at about an inch there. Now these loads over here is something I'd made um, for my Tika in a 55 grain 
um, pretty standard uh, sort of bullet and load but it was um, the powder charge was uh, made for the Tika and um, I'm pretty happy with that that's a very tight group under half an inch um, both did very well both are more than enough for hunting and it'd be scary to think of what I could do with it if I actually did some powder charges for this rifle so might just have to do that and see what we can come up with actually very impressed um, holds five rounds more than enough for um, hunting you know obviously you're gonna carry more on you but if you miss with the first or the second you're done anyway so uh, one in eight barrel twist I am using a Picatinny rail um, for the scope the scopes nothing special for that um, I'm gonna actually make um, a few different powder charges just to see how much better it gets but that, that's pretty good so if it doesn't get better than that I'm more than happy but I have to try See you on the next video.